Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a five month keto diet update for you. I last did a video about 12 weeks into my diet and I had lost 10 kilos in 12 weeks. Apart from a few slip ups, I really stuck well to the diet. And I've got to say <laughs> this time over my birthday and December and New Year's and things like that with Christmas, like I knew I'd slip up, not slip up because it was intentional. Like I knew I'd let myself go a little bit, but now it's starting the new year. I am getting back on track into my ketogenic diet. And a lot of you guys have asked for updates. I've posted a few outfit photos on Instagram and so many people have commented saying, you look amazing and things like that. And a lot of people asking, and thank you so much. I find it funny because some people say, oh, you've worked so hard, you look so good. And to be honest, I really haven't worked hard. I haven't done any exercise. The most exercise I did was last night, I actually went for maybe like a 15 minute walk around our estate that we live in. And I do find that it's something that I need to pick up now. Like even if it's just a little walk here and there, I feel like I need to do it. But yeah, five months into my ketogenic lifestyle change, I'm gonna call it that because even the other day when I was at work, I called it a diet. Oh, I can't believe I get to eat that on my diet and um, my friend said no it's not a diet you're on like you need to not call it that and I'm like yeah I know naughty <laughs> I'm at the stage where I'm probably not in ketosis I I couldn't tell you actually. It's a Friday today and then on Tuesday I went to the tennis and I had a few drinks. Maybe had like four drinks but that straight away kicks you out so I've got to get back into it i should go and get a glass of water actually because i haven't had enough water today that feels better um one thing that i keep forgetting to do is i keep forgetting to smash the water on this lifestyle if you're eating this type of food you need to drink so much water and it's something that i was so good with at the start and then just slowly as I keep going, like sometimes I'll have spikes where I'm really good and then sometimes I will literally just forget to drink water. I know that there's a few things that I need to work on and I guess that's what I'm gonna go over today. Some things that I've fallen off. So I am also doing a thing called intermittent fasting. If you haven't heard of it, it's basically where I'm trying to eat two meals a day. So it's really good for fat loss because you are burning that fat while you're fasting. You burn the most fat actually while you're asleep overnight. The longer you're fasting, it also cleans out your body as such. There is a word for it, but I've forgotten it at this point in time. It's really good for your insulin levels. It is actually really good for your body and it shows you that you do not need to eat all the time, which is far from all of the other diets that I've done before in my life or lifestyle changes. Like I've always, you know, you have breakfast and then a morning snack and then lunch and then an afternoon snack and then dinner and dessert or, you know, dinner and no dessert. And on this, I eat twice a day and I'm, I'm okay. I'm building myself up to it because I was a little bit over Christmas, New Year's, December, and when we're overseas in Bali, but it's, it's getting there and Honestly, I'm just gonna ramble in this video. It's just gonna take me wherever I need to go, whatever I wanna say. One thing that I have noticed the most about this diet is I don't get hangry. Like I used to be at the stage and I'm sure most of you will understand what I mean. I used to get to the stage where I'm like, the world is gonna end if I don't eat in the next 10 minutes. You know what I mean? Like you used to get so angry and so worked up. I need to eat, I need to eat and I don't get that anymore and it makes me so, so happy, so glad that I don't get that anymore because I would just then go and eat whatever I needed to eat. But on this lifestyle, I can feel like I'm hungry and then I can still push it out a few hours and still feel the same level of hunger without wanting to kill someone, <laughs> if you get what I mean. That's one of the best things that, apart from like losing the unnecessary weight that I had on me, um, that's one of the things that I noticed most about this diet is the fact that I don't get hangry. I also uh, need to work on eating more vegetables. I found that I was being really slack. I was being really lazy. Lunch came around and I'm like, oh, I'll quickly cook like a lamb chop or something and just have that because I couldn't be bothered cooking the vegetables. But I know that my body needs the minerals and nutrients from the vegetables. You definitely do need that. You're meant to have seven to 10 cups 
of vegetables a day. And I do not have that, but it's something that I definitely need to work on. I get so many questions asking like, what do you actually eat? I'm working out a way on how to show you guys the best on what I eat because I think I'm just going to do like maybe a vlog style what I eat in a day and um, you know, just show how I prepare the food and things like that because I tried filming a few bits and pieces here and there. It just didn't work out the way that I had in mind. I've been taking some photos of some food that I've made. So the other day I was at the tennis, as I mentioned earlier. I didn't know what I could eat, but I found a little, they, were, they had um, the food trucks there. I found a Greek food truck and they actually had, it was like a serving salad platter thing or something like that. And I got that and I'll insert a photo of it, but it just had, you could choose chicken or lamb. It had tzatziki and then a big salad and it did come with pita bread, although my friend Rachel ate the pita bread. Like I eat out quite a bit. I either have like a salad or a steak. You've just got to be really careful with things, obviously your carbohydrates and your sugar. The one thing that you don't know about is you don't know what's in the, the sauces, what's in the tzatziki, what's in the aioli. Usually there will be some amount of sugar in it, so you just need to watch out for that. But if you make it yourself at home, then it's fine. Or if you buy one at the supermarket that doesn't have any added sugar, then that's fine as well. Don't be afraid of eating out. It's definitely something that you can do. If your friends are going out for dinner, don't say no, definitely go along. I usually have a steak with garlic butter and just vegetables so I make sure I order no chips or no potatoes. This actually put me to the test because the other week we went out for lunch with friends and Dean went and ordered my meal and I just said I just want steak and veg and he ordered it but he forgot to take the chips off and I had a few chips and I felt really guilty. So if you're going to order it, don't get it with the side of chips or just take them off, just have your veggies. And then quite often for lunch I'll have a Caesar salad or grilled is a good option. They have low carb buns or go somewhere and order the hamburger without the bun that's easy enough to do and like there's so many options you've just got to think of how am I going to take the carbs out of it and the sugar yeah so they're just some tips when eating out but I do prepare a lot of meals at home and I do try and take my lunch to work as often as I can or have leftovers the next day that I can eat for lunch that's really really helpful the other weekend we actually made some hamburgers I'll show you a photo of how I had it obviously without any bread. Oh guys, I made chicken parmesanas. <sighs> so yum. So you get your chicken thigh and you cook it like a schnitzel, but you use instead of breadcrumbs, almond meal, and I put thyme, vegeta, and salt, pepper, and maybe some mixed Italian herbs. Crumb that up and then fried it in some olive oil. And then I put it on a tray and put some sauce on it and then some cheese on top and put it in the oven and it was amazing. Like it was probably the best parmigiana I've had in a long time and I made it myself. I was so proud. So like little things like that, that, you know, you just learn to deal without having the bread or the carbs. I don't find the meals that hard to do. Like it's just getting it around in your mind saying, I can't have that, I can't eat it. If I eat it, it will make me sick, it will kick me out of ketosis, I won't lose any weight. All my hard work or you know, all my willpower is just going down the drain, it's not worth it. And I think once you get to that stage where you just say, I can't eat it, because even the people that I'm around, like when I was at the tennis, they were aware of my diet and like Rachel was helping me choose like what I can and can't eat when we went to go get food. Like that was really good having supportive people. So do make sure that you are surrounding yourself with supportive people that are gonna support your choices in whatever you do, obviously, but you know, it helps to have those people that are going to encourage you, you know, and ask how you're doing and things like that. And yeah, and share that journey with you kind of thing. So since my last update, I've lost another three to four kilos. I keep fluctuating between that. And I think it's just like, I know what I need to do. I need to cut out the alcohol because it's just that time of year. There's a lot of events that I just, you know, I want to have a drink at. I know I need to do that. I need to up my veggies, need to up my water and you know, have, chuck in a walk or two a week. That's what I really need to work towards. Since I was not completely following the lifestyle in December, uh, I found very, you know, early January when I was trying to get back into it, 
my levels of energy were really low like when I first started and I just found it hard to concentrate and I had no energy and um, you, that's something that you've got to be prepared for if you do start the diet and then stop it and then go back on it again you've got to be prepared to go through that keto flu again and it sucks but honestly when you're past it once you're past it you are completely fine. Your energy lasts longer throughout the day. You're not as hungry. You're not craving carbs. You're not craving the sugary things anymore. I don't know. I feel like I used to be constantly thinking about food, constantly thinking, oh, what are we going to have for my snacks, my lunch, dinner, whatever. And now it's just like, oh yeah, you know, I've got stuff in the fridge. I can make whatever. Like, I don't know what's for dinner tonight, but um, you know, we'll work something out and I don't have to worry about snacks either. Also, I'm trying to cut down on snacks because I have been watching some intermittent fasting videos, the ones by Dr. Eric Berg. And he did mention that every time you eat, you spike your insulin levels. And if your insulin levels are spiked, then you are not going to lose weight. So it's better to, uh, have like a bigger meal at your lunchtime, like put your snacks in. So I brought some some cashew nuts to work for, for snacks. I know a lot of people say, oh, you shouldn't be eating cashews, but you know what? I've had cashews the whole time and I've lost 13 to 14 kilos, so it's all good. I'm all right with that. I'm aware I could have potentially lost more weight if I just had almonds or other types of nuts, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> so yesterday after I had my zoodles, so I had zucchini noodles with a bolognese sauce with mint. After my lunch, I had my some cashew nuts. Then I just didn't snack at all. And then I just had my dinner, at, I think I had it at maybe like 6.37 or something like that. And then um, if you're going to have dessert, like some cream and berries is what I'd usually have. I'd have it then, but I didn't have any last night. Oh, I think I had a square of chocolate actually last night. And then I fasted until today, lunchtime, and I had some heated up sausages with onion for lunch. And now it's 3.36 and I won't have anything to dinner. Also, you tend to think like if you're hungry, just have a glass of water and you'll most likely be fine anyway. You won't even think about it. So yeah, I am gonna work on some videos on more things that I am eating. I just need some time to put it together. So I've kind of cut breakfast out of it, but if I'm at home, I might have a lunch with breakfast food, if you get what I mean. So I still eat the bacon and eggs, just, yeah, obviously, for my lunch instead of breakfast. I found that if I wasn't too sure on anything, I would just Google it and then there'd usually be answers in a forum or something um, or a video on it that I could watch. You can find substitutions for so many things. Like I have pasta with zoodles. I can have pizza with the cauliflower pizza base that you make yourself. It just takes a bit more time to get used to preparing the food. And there's also been a few times where I've been caught out and I'm like, oh, I need to eat something. We've been able to go to McDonald's and get the Caesar salad. And that has been fine. You just get it with the seared chicken. So keep that in mind if you're having a chicken whatever don't get the crumbed version because that's obviously carbs <laughs> you know it's just getting used to ordering things differently and thinking about things before you eat them or before you make them before you order them and how that is going to impact because obviously like I mean I feel like this isn't a diet that you can just cheat on because it will really impact you as I said before so I think that that's kind of it I think I've rambled enough for now I'm getting back into it and you know what I am so I'm just so happy on this because you know what like I don't get that bloated feeling that I used to get before that super sore tummy when I'd eat rice you know like all the sugar in food and everything like that I feel like my mind is a lot more clearer and yeah I just need to work on a bit of de-stressing and eating a little bit better so and drinking more water but yeah I hope that this is the kind of video that you were after to learn about my how I'm going on my ketogenic diet my ketogenic lifestyle but there will definitely be more to come I'm thinking of doing like like a whole lot of videos in relation to this so make sure you subscribe to see lots of them because I know so many people are really interested in this I don't know if I said this in my last video but when my friend Anna was telling me about this diet and I was thinking about it and I just thought you know what I've got I've literally got nothing to lose apart from 20 kilos so why not give it a go
and you know for me I, it has worked and as I said it's not gonna work for everyone but I am so happy on it I'm really doing really well I'd love to know if you guys have started doing the keto journey and what your results are so far I know I've received a few comments and things saying that you've started it and you've lost like 15 kilos and everything like that and that is awesome I'm so happy and glad and proud of you guys if this can help you become more confident in your body like I'm oh my god I'm so much more happy and confident like it's it's just crazy like I feel like a different person to what I was this time last year just completely different and really really happy so yeah, anyway, that's enough rambling for now. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a really good day and I will see you really soon. Bye.